Hi there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel and uh, yes, this video is about this quadcopter here, the Hudson H501S Advanced and uh, yeah, the advanced version that comes with this radio and this is uh, kind of a uh, warning video and uh, don't worry if you've uh, got this uh, quadcopter or have uh, ordered it, it won't kill you but there is something you need to uh, be aware of. So, and that is uh, in the menu of this radio. We'll zoom into that uh, in a minute. Uh, you can uh, change a few settings. And uh, one is uh, the flight mode, advanced or not advanced. And you do not want to switch it into non-advanced. Why? Because you won't be able to disarm the quadcopter. And Obviously that's not very nice because you'll have a quadcopter sitting on the ground after you've landed it. The props will be spinning and then yeah, the, you can't disarm it. The props will keep on spinning and uh, it's pretty hard to uh, get to the lipo department. As you can see props are pretty close to it. And uh, well, when they are spinning fast you can't even really see where they end. So yeah, pretty hazardous. Okay, and I'll show you what that specific setting is in the menu of this radio. Okay, let's see. If you uh, switch the transmitter on and the quadcopter on, you can uh, then uh, pull the throttle stick towards you and press the enter button over here. And that will get you into the menu. So, as you can see, you've got a few uh, options. You've got some uh, reversing options, sensitivity options, manual mode on off, and a fourth option the expert mode. And that is the option you do not want to switch to off or to no. If you do, uh, you won't be able to disarm this quadcopter. So yeah, oh and by the way, maybe I should also show you the version. There, that's the current version I'm running, 1.1.17. And the uh, version of the transmitter I think is 1.1.2. So, um, yeah, maybe uh, they'll solve it in a future version, but 1.1.2 uh, of the transmitter's version, you'll have this problem and you don't want to switch the expert mode to no. And uh, yeah, that's it really. And uh, does this make it a bad quadcopter? No, not at all. Um, it is an easy quadcopter even in expert mode, so uh, I think they could have just left that option off. It is what it is, right? Um, it's not a bad quadcopter, not at all. It shoots a very good quality video and uh, it's uh, easy to fly and uh, it just has a software bug, I guess. Okay, I hope this was uh, informative for you and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye!